Germany reported 962 deaths from coronavirus on Wednesday, the highest daily toll since the beginning of the pandemic. The nationwide lockdown, which began on the 16th of December, has helped to prevent exponential growth in new infections, according to experts. But the seven-day average remained above 23,000 a day. Well, to talk more about the situation there, we're joined by DW correspondent William Glucroft from Berlin. Tell us, how are the countries now handling the reports of a new strain of coronavirus that's been reported? from the UK. That's right. This new mutation was met with a lot of panic and chaos over the last several days here around the EU. When the United Kingdom announced a harder lockdown for parts of its country that's been dealing with this mutation, that initial research shows could be as much as 70% more infectious. Now, Germany and other member states uh, put in an immediate travel ban, much like what we saw in the springtime with uh, chaos at cross-border uh, areas and traffic going back and forth. Now, since uh, the EU has backed away from that blanket ban, the EU saying uh, that's not necessary. France has loosened up its uh, travel restrictions a little bit, but Germany is sticking with theirs, saying that there will be no incoming traffic from the UK until at least January 1st for some people and a more general loosening by January 6th. And already on the weekend, we saw how much confusion there could be with border police separating people arriving at the airports based on their nationality and their residency status and whether they could prove that they were negative for the virus. Some people having to sleep overnight in airports until uh, they could get a negative test the next morning. All right. And uh, what does it uh, what does Christmas now look like uh, where you are? That's right. Christmas is the big question. Of course, people want to meet with family and friends. Public health authorities are saying, please don't do that. Please don't travel. Even though the rules technically allow some meeting of people, uh, health officials are saying it's best if you don't, that you stay away from people at best, meet with them outside and in the smallest possible numbers, because there's a big fear that there's going to be a major spike in cases after the Christmas period. Uh, we're already seeing 20 to 30,000 new infections a day in Germany. More than 28,000 people, or soon there'll be 28,000 people dead from this virus in total, with almost two-thirds of that coming in just this last wave of the virus. So Germany not handling it this time around as well as they were applauded for in the springtime. Uh, even with less traffic and people saying they will mostly stay home and meet with fewer people, there are still people meeting, and that is likely to see uh, more cases in the days ahead. Now, we do know the EU's body uh, has approved uh, the vaccine uh, for uh, all the countries there. So what happens now? The EU did finally approve its vaccine, the BioNTech-Pfizer vaccine, a few weeks after the U.S. and U.K. and other countries did the same for their populations. That means here in Germany, according to public health officials, as early as the 27th of December, just after Christmas, the first vaccinations can take place. But it is going to be a long road. Of course, like in many other countries, the most at risk, the most vulnerable will be getting the vaccines first. That's as many as 8 million people in Germany, according to uh, the health ministry here. And there's going to be very few vaccines to go around, less than half a million in the first batch. Jens Spahn, the health minister, hopes there'll be 1.3 million doses by the end of the year. And coming in January, uh, the EU is expected to approve the Moderna vaccines. Then there'll be two vaccines available for vaccinations. But uh, health officials and public officials are saying it's still a long road ahead. It's going to be a very dark and dangerous winter. And it'll be many, many months until the hardest hit groups, and especially the general population, are vaccinated. And finally, let's take a look at this campaign by health workers in the United States to encourage people to come forward and get vaccinated when the time comes. U.S. first-in-line health workers have been sharing their pictures of getting their vaccine with the hashtag, I got my shot. This is to counter vaccine hesitancy in the, in the U.S. and also many of the conspiracy theories uh, that are doing the rounds. Well, that's all the time we have on the show today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.